The next part of the exercise is to do the same analysis um, looking at weight. So we're st still looking at this re overall research question. Have the physical characteristics of military personnel changed between Republic and Imperial regimes? Specifically now, is the weight of currently serving stormtroopers different to that of Republic clone relatives? Null hypothesis, there is no difference between the weight of Republic clone troopers and the weight of presently serving Imperial stormtroopers. I'm saying the weight hasn't changed. That's my hypothesis, or null hypothesis. And so now the exercise is compare the weight of clone troopers with the weight of stormtroopers. Write a brief report of your results. Okay, so don't so do that analysis we've just done. Then write so note down what you observe in those results. And then once you've done that, start to formulate a discussion around those results. And I've suggested here, identify your main findings, what the practical significance of those findings may or may not be, limitations to the methodology and the analysis, and how these limits may affect the interpretation of the results, and what other influencing factors there may be. So I'm going to bin the weight data using visual binning this time weight I need to create a bin variable name this is weight bins now again looking at this the full range of the data is a is between about 64 and 90 um, sitters. So I'm going to make some cut points. So I'll say the first one. Sixty-four. I'm, I'm going to go with my ten, ten bins again, and that says that there should be 3.032. Well. I, like I said, I, I, I like nice round numbers, so I have a three kilogram bin width. And then because you see the last cut point is now 91, I'm just extend that to have 11, say, and maybe I have 12 bins. But th there's no right or wrong here, really, so it just, um, it's an arbitrary value. I'll see what it looks like. So we're looking at weights. And so th this is the weight of individuals. And all I'm saying is the width, um, weight is measured in kilograms. And so the width of the bin, last time it was in centimetres, this time it's in kilograms. So it's a three kilogram bin width. So I will have on here count, weight. Um, 64 to 96 and all I'm saying is that that bin width there is about is three kilograms so the range I'm going to count how many uh, individuals have a weight between 64 and 67 kilograms and then the number of bins is in how many times I'm going to repeat this across here and I've said 12 And if I press apply, I'm going to make those labels again so it's human readable so you can see that bin 2 is 64.1 to 67 um, kilograms. So how, how, count all of the individuals in there. That's okay. But now we've got these uh, bins for, uh, for weight here. And they simply repeat that same thing of visualizing what this data looks like. And all, actually everything's in there except um, it's wanting to do it on height, so I'm just going to change it to weight. That's OK. And I get something that looks like that. I saw some, some of you used uh, a greater number of bins. That's fine. Uh, you've still got a similar 
something similar. So, so what I would be looking at here is I can see the green distribution looks like it does something like that, but the blue distribution looks much narrower and possibly different. So if I were to say, well, when I draw a curve through, maybe the centre of that one's there and the centre of that one's there, they both look roughly normal and it does look like there's probably a difference in the means. I might be tempted to write down something like um, they appear normal I might also say means or modes appear different I'd also uh, be tempted to say that the um, variation within the distributions appears different. And so I, I've come up with some qualitative, very subjective assessment of my data. But already I'm, I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, well, it looks like there might be a difference in there. Now, is that difference real? Is it statistically significant? What's the probability that I could generate that it, under the assumption of the null hypothesis? Well, that's something that we then go on um, to do the further assessment for. So then we're going to go to analyse data, we're going to compare the means, do this independent samples t-test. This time we're comparing um, the weight. Remember what we're comparing is the continuous variables, these ones with a little picture of a ruler, not the uh, categorical variables that we've created. And also these grouping vari variables here. So zero is clone trooper and um, one is Stormtrooper. They just come from the way that I coded the data. So anyway, there's my, my t-test results. And the thing that you want to look at is the p-value. And that's telling me that there is a probability of 0.04 or 4% that the null hypothesis explains this data, or that there is a 4% a chance that there's no difference between my, these two sample means. Now given that we have a, we've already set our significance level as 0.05 because we've gone with convention, well now I can write that P is less than 0 0.05. So I'm going to say this is a significant difference a statistically significant difference. But that's only by my own criteria. It's saying that now I've got to the point where I'm forced to consider an alternative hypothesis, that there is some difference between the weights of Republic troopers and, and Imperial troopers. What the reason for that is um, remains to be elucidated, but at least I've got something I can say about my data. And here you can also write something about the, the means and the standard errors and how confident we are. So actually, if you look at these mean, the, the means of those two distributions, it's about a one kilogram, slightly less, but maybe a half, half a kilogram difference between the two groups. So it's statistically significant, is it practically significant? Does it alter the ability of a, a trooper to do their job, for example? So that's how we can analyse the results. So that essentially gives us our results section. So once we've got those results and we've written something about them, we can then move on to a discussion. 
here are some of my thoughts on how, how you might build a discussion around this data. Um, so firstly, you might say that, you, OK, these are all clones, but you know they're not going to be perfectly identical, uh, identical because they will each have their individual environment within which they grew, which might consist of slight subtleties in changes in diet, training, uh, and their particular job. Okay, so although you've got individuals who are genetic clones of each other, there may be environmental factors that alter certain, um, certain characteristics. And you might also say that you wouldn't expect it to alter height, but maybe the amount of training might, might affect weight. And here you're speculating. That's okay, we're in discussion, but we can discuss ideas. Some of you don't take speculation too far. But then we observed that there was a mean, although there wasn't a statistically significant difference in the mean heights, there was a difference of about 0.1 centimetres. It wasn't statistically significant, and I would propose it's not practically significant, so we'll leave it. Now, it doesn't really change their ability to do a job. A and actually, some of these differences may have entered in because of the way that we included them. So I said at the beginning that we inform the medic informed the stormtrooper that they were going to be measured. Now, maybe that made the stormtrooper stand up extra straight, or maybe it meant the me made the medic take extra care in doing the measurement. So it may have introduced a very slight bias, just because they had that a priori no knowledge of what they were doing, um, or, or of inclusion. And so that may also have affected weight measurement. Um, but we, we saw a mean weight difference. I've said one kilogram. I think it's about half a kilogram, actually. Um, between one and a half and one kilogram. Uh, but the difference was statistically significant. Well, what was the practical significance? It, it may be unclear. Could it affect the fit of their armour? Could it affect their fitness? Are they, in fact, fitter because they may be more muscular, um, because maybe they have a higher, harder regime of training? We didn't test for any of these things. We don't know. So you can't conclude that that's the reason. But you can introduce these ideas because they can inform the next set of research that you might do. So you should always end up in a discussion with more questions than you had at the beginning. But we didn't test the causality. Um, we didn't control for things like diet, training, or other factors. 